What's up guys welcome back again this is another best android apps collection for the October 2016 so as usual each month I used to show you guys some of the best apps picks that I have taken from the whole month which are maybe recently launched which are the apps that I am personally using after finding on the play store after doing researching and testing thoroughly and some of the apps that I you should be using based on the tools and productivity category because they can help you in lot of ways so let's get started and see so first app we are going to talk about is called all in one toolbox so this is the app I am using from more than a month now there's a detailed featured video for this app so make sure to check that out so using this app you can get a complete ram booster your ram booster you can uh, clean the cache itself you can even cool the system too in case your phone is of low spec and getting you know your phone is getting too much high along with that the best feature is you will get this built-in file manager which is quite effective you get all kind of files in the separate categories it is not as fully functional that you should get in all the other apps, but uh, this app does work in pretty much fine here and also uh, you will get other features like toolbox in which you can get a lot of features like batch install and install you can easily install many apps, apps together and you can uninstall many apps together you can take the app back up too and also you can get the features of startup customization you can easily customize which app you want to launch as a startup so this is very overall a lot of features in that in this app here second app is called the google Allo this is one of the most downloaded app of the month of september so already if you're my subscriber you might have watched this video so i have already shown you all the detailed feature for example just a quick feature here. if i just want to type here you can easily send here a lot of stuff that you can send location emojis camera photos all the stuff you want to show you can see you can just send your location here you need to turn on the location you can easily turn on the camera you can send a lot of pictures here so very very nice here i am personally using this app now because i earlier used to use hype messenger and whatsapp too so but i switched mostly to hello now it's very nice and i really like this app here now moving to the next app this is called a blackberry contact so this app gives you many of the features like we can create groups here based on your email here you can easily decide uh, what kind of category you can create here so by default it will automatically sort according to your google address but you can create uh, other features like you know if you just go here it shows all the contact whatsapp contact your gmail contacts your outlook contacts and you can add a new contact here you can create a custom view from here too so already a very good feature compared to the standard uh, contacts if you are using so this app is very nice and also there is a search feature too you can search from here whatever contact you want to search and along with that if you go inside there is an import and export functionality you can import or export all the features to the contacts here you can see i can export all the contacts to the vcf file in which i can easily go and share with other people wherever i want to all right this is very nice contact app i'm using this from now and the fourth apps again is from the same blackberry it's called blackberry device sir so in case you are using a blackberry hub plus services so this is very nice and recommended app and this app can search your whole computer whole phone here for example it can search your contact it can search your email it can search your call register so in short it is a kind of search engine for your a phone if i just type my name here so let me see where are my names are coming so you can see it shows my name too it shows my contact calendar appointment all the stuff so i can even extend that i can search in the maps and password if i have stored password my name too this is actually best blackberry password keeper so i'm using that and also if it doesn't found you can go to internet and search on that too so a lot of feature in this Another app is called this uh, Signal Star Icon Pack theme. This is one of the uh, icon pack I'm really using. You can see uh, this icon packs is currently applied here. So all the icons, whatever white color you are seeing, it has been converted to dark. Not the black, it's a dark. So all the stuffs has been changed. You can get inside. So this is not bad in case you're looking for any dark icon based theme. So this is very nice icon theme mostly it doesn't change the icon actually it just change the color only so that is more important because mostly all the icon pack you try they just try to change the you know complete icon so sometimes it doesn't look i like the marshmallow icon so i want to keep it that way but all the stuff that are white they just tend to black you can see play store settings and all the stuff so really nice icon pack just go and try that in case you want otherwise uh, going to the new app this is called google trips in case you're going out for a vacation or any trip or maybe you're visiting local places here so you don't need to carry internet with you for most of the times it happens if you just roam uh, to any other places so internet connectivity not easily available in many locations so using that you 
can easily create and plan your trip and also uh, this app shows if you are google user and if you have book all the you new know, flight itineraries and railway tickets with that so this uh, app can easily fetch all the details here as you can see it just fetched my one of the uh, travel clip on the uh, last year and also you can uh, easily search in case you want to any uh, place here you can easily uh, search from here so it shows all the stuff so you can create a trip here you can uh, add date and time and also along with that you can uh, search exactly the location to let me just show you if i just show you here you can easily uh, click here and it will show things to do get in here it shows all the top spots of that places here so from places a to z many of the places it shows you whatever place you want to visit so really nice app guys you can easily download and you can easily visit that for example if i just click here and it can easily show the direction from here let me just turn on the gps so it shows all the stuff from where you can navigate that next app we'll see is called the power director so using that app you can easily uh, create any video if you have recorded if you just selected any video you just go to produce here uh, go to the saved sd card directory go in setting now you can easily have a 60 frame per second that is more important because nowadays smartphones are giving features to film your video in 1080p mode in 60 fps or in 4k so this app does uh, produce in 60 fps but only up to 1080p not the 4k so hopefully the next version might it come so this is a paid version in the free version you can only create hd hd files if you have bought that app you can create full hd videos too in 60 fps next app you see is called the solid explorer file manager there's a detailed feature video i have made too so this is a paid app but you can get free free features will give you a lot of things too and it's very cheap and just less than a dollar or indian currency is 20 rupees 19.99 so a highly recommended app it gives you most of the features you can easily add your google drive it has the root explorer and also it has the multi window feature you can see both uh, you know paints are different you can easily work in some different, different folder here and you can work in different folder both are independent you can do a lot of stuff here you can easily browse all the videos together it, it has a live folder too you can actually if you just see any video files here it will play in the live stuff so that is more you can see all the stuffs are moving so it plays in the live format so that is the most important feature of this uh, app our next app is called Textgram. Using that app, you can add a lot of background templates. You can add any images you want and you can easily uh, switch the photos and you can add so many, uh, you know, shapes, features, text. You can add, if you want any text here, you can crop that image too. You can fit in the size, you can see. You can apply that and image will be cropped in that way. And also you can uh, revert. So many, many features are there. Uh, it can add a lot of text and filters as said, you can see. If you just add any filter, it applies to the back side. You can cancel it to going back. You can also revert it back. Random filters are in the back side. You can add any text box. If you just say here, my car. So update text, it came to say my car. So a lot of things are there. So our next app is called again, this uh, internet speed. So you might have noticed that uh, in on my status bar, I have going some extent uh, randomly showing how much is the internet bandwidth I'm getting. So using for example, app like speedtest.net uh, is fluctuating. So you can instantly check at any moment how much download upload you're getting. For example, if you're uploading any file, I can easily check at any random moment how much uh, I am getting here. So you don't need to rely on any third party app with just a simple widget app. You can just use that. And there are a lot of filter features here. You can monitor Wi-Fi, you can, you know, Customize at what time you want to run that when the screen is locked, it's not locked. And also, this uh, widget color, which text you want, you want in KBPS, MBPS, or bits per second. So, many, many things are there. So, I'm personally using this from a couple of days here, and you can see I'm instantly monitoring how much speed I'm getting. So, that's it, guys, for this month. And stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe. Each week, I used to post some of the featured apps, some of the new apps, some of the paid apps. So, whichever I found is very recommended. So, I used to test that for a week, then I used to let you guys know that you can go and try that out. This is Sarab. Hope you guys find this video helpful. I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.